Can you show them the ceiling, the point at which the ceiling meets the wallpaper? You can see white. And that's his plaster. Not a bad job. Not a bad job. But now what do we do? We got brand new expensive wallpaper on the walls and we can't get paint on them. So that's why I'm holding a hand masker from 3M and yellow frog tape. Now, first of all, this is not the way you pull tape off of the wall, but if you have this good tape and you made the mistake of doing that, you could do it. This is the way you peel tape off of wallpaper. Look, do you see the difference? I don't want to sound like I know it all, but I don't, I don't want to get into the physics of it. You will put less pressure on the wallpaper if you do it like this, as opposed to doing it like this. This scares me, doing it like this. But just understand that if you peel it, or rather than pull it, you'll be better off. Now, let's get up there. Let's protect his beautiful wallpaper. Oh my gosh. Okay. So with my 3M hand masker, I'm going right up to the edge of my wallpaper. And I'm pivoting. See, see what I'm doing? I'm pivoting after I secured one end because my ceiling isn't straight. And so I'm pushing my tape up to where it meets the ceiling. But it's wavy. You can't see it, but it is. And that's why we're going to use caulking. My British friends don't have the caulking that I'm going to use. They don't have it. Because they don't sell it in the UK in the in Great Britain. I don't know about the rest of the UK, but I know that Great Britain does not have the caulking that I'm gonna use. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do here. I have my caulking gun. Ah oh. And um, my eyes are gone. I'm going to caulk this seal. I'm going to seal my tape and my ceiling with white, with clear caulking, not white, because I don't want a white edge on my wallpaper. I want it clear, so that I can still see my color wallpaper because this clear caulking is translucent, it's also transparent. And all I want is my white paint coming up to the edge. And so I mistakenly took white. Let me go get clear and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Oh, we got it right here. I did bring it. I don't have Alzheimer's yet. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got clear. Now it's been sitting in my truck. And uh, for those of you who never used a caulking gun, I'm not trying to be funny. A lot of do-it-yourself was watching my channel. Uh, you want to penetrate 
the orifice through which the cocking comes out for obvious reasons. And okay, let's just get some of that out. Yeah, it's been in there for a while. Now, you're gonna see that it comes out white, but trust me, it's clear, okay? It dries clear. Now, that's the product, DAP Clear. Of course, again, you guys in the UK, uh, in Great Britain, they don't have it. Um, might be something for an entrepreneur to get involved with, I don't know. Okay, so just show them what I'm gonna do. It looks a little sloppy, but I assure you that it's not. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I going through this process? Because I'm dealing with a textured ceiling, and you know there's nooks and crannies. You know there's going to be puddles of paint that get stuck in there that are going to drip onto my wallpaper. And then my brand new wallpaper job is ruined. So what happens? The customer will say, oh, honey, let's not paint it. We don't want to mess up the wallpaper. Then they got a ceiling that looks like garbage. Okay, so now, can I let this dry? No, you can't let it dry because it's going to be like pulling duct tape over wallpaper. So you want to move quickly. If that means doing one side of the wall at a time, then do it. But you want to do it quickly, which means get it done within the hour, okay? I'm in a humid room. I don't expect this to dry right away. Don't try to use conventional tape on this because you will fail to achieve the results that you will see in this video. If you use regular tape, you're gonna tear the wallpaper. And I'll leave you my phone number on the bottom so that you can call me if you rip it. Just joking. Okay, so, so we're gonna go all around. I won't waste your time. We're gonna tape very carefully the, the place where the wallpaper meets the ceiling. Favoring the wallpaper. In other words, you can leave a hairline of wallpaper above your tape so that you don't miss it. Just a hairline, which is what I'm doing here. Okay, I'll see you on the next frame when I got it all sealed up. Just look at the way I'm aggressively pushing the clear caulking in there. Just check it out. Okay, I'm not just leaving that there with the with the um, with the tube. I'm going in now. I'm gonna mash it in there, okay? Get your fingers dirty with the caulking. It's the only way to get it in there to ensure that it's in, okay? Mash that in there, push that in the nooks and crannies, back and forth, back and forth, okay? And we're talking about it here, texture. You don't have texture, this will do. Look, one, two. Both texture back and forth, okay? So when you're done, your room should look something like this. You see how the plastic goes underneath the paper? Just like they do in roofing. The lower part, shingles, go under the higher ones to keep the rain out, right? Okay, so we're all ready to go. Three inch angle sash brush, my, one of my favorites. And um, now, here's, here's where I'm holding the brush. I want to get in there. I'm going to be pushing this paint aggressively against these nooks and crannies. Now, this takes a lot of guts because you got to rely on your preparation work. Did you do a good job prepping? Because if you didn't, you're going to have a worse problem 
than the one you were trying to avoid. That's why I want you to mash the caulking into the point at which sealing and tape meet. Now, if you find yourself having to do two coats of paint, which often happens on ceilings, you want to make sure you're putting a good amount of paint in this area. Because if you didn't do a great job caulking, You want to make sure that your one coat that's going in there is thick and it's sufficient. See, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. Then I'm going one way. Oh, man. Okay, we'll show them a little more and then we'll continue just the way I'm doing it. And then we will show them the finished product. I'm pretty much painting that tape, aren't I? I'm getting in there real good. Don't try to do this. You're caulked. You're protected. Get that paint in there. Okay? And be generous with the paint. Get it back and forth, back and forth. Okay, get that in there. Do a good job on that. And overlap your start and finish points. What do I mean? Well, that's a finish point, right? I just went over it a couple of inches. Overlap. know how to use the angle brush. I'm switching the angle at which I'm applying the paint. Now my high point is now going in the other direction, different from the one in which I was using it prior to right now. So if you see, my point on the brush is getting into that corner. And that's why we use an angle sash brush so that we have no problems getting into corners like that. If you watch Aubrey's decorating from the UK, I like the word he uses. He's like, just wiggle it. Or whittle, something like that. He's very funny and he doesn't try to be funny. That's what's so funny about the guy. Okay. My arm is getting real tired. Okay, I put a nice coat of paint on there. Look at that. Okay, for those of you who say, oh, you don't have to put plastic on the, oh, to cover the walls. Just take a look around and you will see specks of paint on the plastic, no matter how good you are. Okay, so please cover the walls. Now let's get the masking off and see how we did. Pull downward. Hmm. So far, so good, huh? I hate this part. Try not to stop like I did. You could drip paint onto your wallpaper. Okay, I grab the wallpaper at the seam. Oh, we gotta go the other way. We gotta start over there. Okay. This is tough, very tough. 
So I'm pulling down, pull it down, pull down. Wow, okay. Let's try to fix that little issue we just created. We remove the plastic with a method, and that is to pull and don't let it go back on the wall. So we do it methodically, right? Now, I'm not in the best position here. I'm standing over, away from the toilet seat. So, you know, I increase my chances of pulling the wallpaper off, but I want to go gentle. See in the corner there? What does that look like to you? It looks like pink, right? But it's not, it's caulking. And that's why you want to use clear caulking, because it did its job. You see, you see what I mean methodically? Put that onto the plastic. All right, here we go, come on. Nice and easy. Oh. Okay. Now, if you look closely, that's caulking. That's caulking. We'll fix that. We'll dry that. We'll wipe that right. Let's keep going. Come on. Almost there. Oh, by the way, you want to paint it right after you apply the caulking. You know, right away, meaning don't wait till it dries. Do it while it's wet. There's no rush, but you want to get it done quickly. So do it while the caulking is wet. So it doesn't dry and you start tearing it like that. Okay. Again in the corner, we see a buildup of caulking. And we're gonna clean that up. So there's our finished edge before we doctor it up. Oh, you see that? We got paint drying, let me, let me fix that. So, here's our finished edge. What do you think? Right? Okay, let's finish it off. I put a damp cloth over my right angle edger. So I'm gonna clean off that caulking, right? So if they can, you can just bring them in here. Okay, so I'm using this so I can get in the corner so I don't have to use my finger which is rounded. Now, let me just show them. I just want to, because I want them to realize I'm being honest with them. This is caulking, okay? And the caulking did its job. And that's why I want you to use clear caulking because it's gonna turn uh, clear. All right. Okay. What's nice about using caulking too, is if you take a straight edge, you can push the caulking back if the lines all don't meet. You know what I mean? In other words, you get to control what your reveal is by using this caulking. Of course it takes time, but that's the whole benefit in using caulking.
Okay. So, okay, now we'll go over there and fix that. What we had there is that the paint, our paint dried, and then we disturbed the drying process. So now we carefully put that back up. Okay, carefully. And then we will paint right over it. Okay, again, we'll use our right edge. This time I'm gonna go in this angle here. Go this way, pull that out. I just don't wanna leave it in there. You might be saying, oh, if it dries clear, why don't you just leave it? Well, first of all, the customer is holding the phone, uh, the, the camera. Ah. So, you know, I want him to know that it's going to look perfect. And also, I want you guys to see a perfect edge, a perfect ending. Okay, so, just bear with me. I'm going to touch that up with my etcher. I'm wetting it so that it slides. Okay, just one second. Okay, this is why we use good brushes. Okay. Some troll at three in the morning. We'll, we'll pick apart everything that I'm doing. It's always the guys who stay up past midnight who let their anger out on nice guys like me. Okay, buddy. Nicey nice. Nice and easy. Oof. Okay. Now, let's clean it off. Got to do your finishing. You got to be a finisher, not just... Okay, our, our tape and caulking can only do so much. And then we got to go back to the use of the hands, right? We want to make that look perfect. And we do that with a brush. Notice how I'm pulling this way. I don't want this to happen. Okay. I don't want that, that paint come back down hitting my wallpaper. That's why we made this video. Okay. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy when you get that paint in there. Because if you push too hard, what's going to happen is you're going to get it on your wallpaper. So you want to be gentle. Even an artist brush will do this job very nicely. Nice little artist brush. Okay. Come on now. What I'm doing is I'm, the caulking is, is still damp and I'm disturbing it. That's the issue. So, to fix this properly, you would wait till the caulking dries. But since we're doing a video, we're gonna fix it now. It just takes longer. ceiling dries there to make it look perfect. See you on the next frame. So after putting our fan on the area for about 15 minutes, we just want to reestablish our line. Okay? And it's easy enough to do. Okay. So we finished it up pulling the paint in one direction. It's easier on the caulking as well if you just go one direction. Okay, now we're going to pull it off. Oh. 
How do you like it? What do you think? Let me get off the ladder. Okay. That's the finished look, folks. And if you don't, and if you don't like any of your lines, do what I just did. Get your tape back up there. Stretch it out. Wait till it's dry. And then look. Look. No paint. Look at how beautiful it looks. Now I did this as a favor to the customer. Because I, I felt like I could benefit from the video. For the good folks who watch my channel. Because I have so many good people watching my channel. Do it yourselfers. New beginner painters, and, and they just, they love this stuff. And very few channels have it. So there you go. I hope you like it.